Well, do you make them? My name is Layton Greetings, Salutations. This is Dr. Shabazz El Bay, and today I want to discuss with you um, the importance of sacred texts. Now, there are so, some so-called conscious people, all the, they are anti-Bible, anti-Quran, and I hear, I'm here to tell you that this is from infiltration of agents, and it's by design. Don't throw away your Bibles and your Quran because you're so-called conscious, because they have a purpose, a hidden meaning or symbolism. You're not supposed to take them literally. The for on the one hand, the Torah or um beginning of the um beginning of the Bible, particularly the Psalm, um, they each are encoded. Um, you have to look up lexigrams and there is encoding in these words. If you break them down, those with eyes to see will see, and those with ears to hear will hear. There are the Psalms in particular, especially, um, they are coded word. Like if you say a certain Psalm, there in the Kapala, you have the 72 names of the Creator. And if you say certain um, Psalms, you, you invoke. Um, certain angelic beings or the seven, you speak certain ancestors you speak certain um names un, unintentionally by saying the psalms in their entirety so if you say like all of the psalms you would be invoking the 72 names of creator and that um helps create an energetic shield around you with angels and ancestors so you, certain books and the the Bible is like a it's like a book of yourself. It's going into the Akashic record. If you look at it, it's like a roadmap to the um to the body and the spiritual body as well as the physical body. Um, the Quran, even even though it comes after the Quran, was still um was from the Moors and this specific the every part of the Quran deals with a part of the energetic body. And um, certain certain um, ones build, build like every single sura um, corresponds has an energetic correspondence. So like the the throne verse would um, or any verse um, in Quran containing the word stars, for example, the stars. Typically, those verses um, and within those sura activate the pineal gland. Um, certain sores help the kundalini rise. Certain sores are good for um, the heart chakra, or activate different chakras. So you don't want to throw your Bibles and your Korans away. And you don't want to um, be, don't listen to agents of the vision telling you that this way is the only way or that way is the only way because Moors, the Moors um, found everything and all the knowledge was not left in one so-called sacred text because with all of that power within one per within the hands of one person or one group of people um, would lead to destruction, like the Tower of Babel when everybody could speak the same language. That's why after the Tower of Babel, which was here in America, that they make you think that it's over there in the East, but that was over here in America, somewhere in Mexico. It was a um, pyramid that they built. Um, that that's um, ancient hidden history, but all the the Moors left fragments of knowledge with every culture, certain fragments of knowledge. That's why you have certain knowledge hidden within the, um, the Diamond Sutra. You had uh, the other Buddhists. You have certain knowledge that was left with um, the Islamic Moors. You have certain knowledge that was um, left with the Yehudi Moors. Um, or the, uh, you have so many different um, groups and cultures that the Moors um, left their information with because the Moors are everything in every culture. The Moors are the um, fathers and mothers of civilization. So you don't want to throw away those sacred texts. All right like the, they all have their their uses and if you are sincere and you're sincerely righteous you can utilize them to your advantage so i just want to let you know that don't don't throw away your bibles and your Korans. all right peace and love